Gormar Gordon at the outset, I'd like to express on my own behalf and my our groups, rural independent groups, we have our abhorrence of what the incident that happened in Navin a couple of days ago. It's just truly shocking. I haven't seen the video, but what I've heard about it, it's appalling. And every right thinking person must condemn it. The Irish government has failed the Irish people by allowing the European Central Bank uh, to the ECB to um, continuously push for interest rate, interest rate hikes despite the dire consequences for Irish borrowers. Today I want to question the, the passive stance of your government in allowing the ECB to push up interest rates uh, from zero to 3.75%, the most severe monetary um, austerity measures since the ECB was founded 25 years ago. The government has um, remained silent on the monetary policy position, despite the fact that it is driving many Irish households to the brink of financial ruin. Firstly, the ECB interest rate hikes uh, represent uh, nothing short of austerity policies and are disproportionate and indeed ineffective and have done nothing to lower inflation. Secondly, the issue is causing severe financial pain and anxiety in every household, particularly uh, for mortgage holders and borrowers. We hear a lot about Middle, uh, middle Ireland, but this is where this is impacting. These interest rate hikes are devastating the Irish economy and posing a significant threat to uh, livelihoods of our citizens. Countless uh, homeowners now face uh, the risk of eviction due to the astronomical costs of mortgage repayments. The ongoing policy of trying to combat inflation through interest rate hikes is like trying to crack a, a chestnut with a sledgehammer. And it's, it's ridiculous and it's, it severely uh, impacts on all Irish borrowers, exacerbating the um, already inflationary um, um, spiral at the moment. The, your government failure to act or even question the ECB to honest uh, pers persistent interest rate hikes has now, uh, now po poses a grave threat to the Irish economy, I believe. So uh, the reckless and monetary policies uh, driving up borrowing costs for small businesses, farmers and homeowners in, in Tipperary and across the country while uh, failing to effectively curb inflation or have any impact at all on it. The most vulnerable group affected by these interest rates hikes are the 712,000 plus homeowners and indeed 76,304 by mortgages um, holders accounting for a staggering um, over 100 billion in, in outstanding loans. Among them, uh, tracker mortgages, customers and interest-only customers are particularly vulnerable. With every 1% increase in ECB uh, interest rates, borrowers in Ireland face an additional burden of approximately uh, 52 euro per month for every 100,000 borrowed. Uh, this places immense uh, strain on borrowers, especially those with um, large outstanding um, loans. For example, one of my constituents in Tipperary, who has paid off the, the most of, uh, part of the most vulnerable groups of borrowers, with an average uh, balance of 222 at uh, 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 and 19 years remaining, so she would have, they would have extra payments of, of 951 a month, driving it up to over 6,000 a year. This is simply unsustainable, uh, Tarnister, and your government are going to have to act. Tarnister. <clears throat> yeah, first of all, um, I would say to the Deputy that um, the European Central Bank, um, we're, we have a con common currency, we've joined that, uh, we've agreed, we're members of the European Central Bank insofar as every state nominates a representative, but of course they don't act as an Irish representative, they have to act as a, um, in, in the collective in, in the context of the European Central Bank itself. And in terms of monetary policy, Deputy, I think they have to control inflation. That's, that's one. Inflation has to be controlled. Um, and unfortunately, interest rate increases has always been a mechanism in terms of monetary policy to uh, reduce uh, a rampant inflation rate, which people have uh, articulated concerns about in this House for the last nine months uh, and has necessitated unprecedented government intervention in terms of cost of living packages and budgetary pa packages to reduce the, uh, the cost of public services uh, to reduce taxation uh, and to provide increased social protection payments uh, uh, to many people. Uh, and we've done that in the context of a very significant 12 billion intervention over the last 12 months uh, by government to alleviate pressures on people. Because interest rates do create pressures on people, uh, and particularly on the mortgage front, as the Deputy has identified. Um, and 
you know, we, we, we will, in, in, in the context of the forthcoming budget, do what we can again to alleviate pressures on people um, in respect of the broader costs uh, that they have. Uh, if you take in terms of healthcare alone now, we've brought down the, uh, the DPS threshold, 124 before we came into government, it's now 80 uh, euros, the, the, the threshold. Um, the paediatric patient in charges eliminated, uh, examination fees waived, adult patient charges um, eliminated, uh, free, book, free, free primary book schemes uh, for September, uh, there will be a 100 euro child benefit in, in, uh, in June, a one off payment. We've just had the fourth um, energy uh, support uh, last April, uh, last month, sorry, uh, provided um, to people. Uh, so there have been a steady, consistent, almost monthly intervention by government to try and alleviate the pressures on people um, right across the board. On the mortgage front, uh, again, the Minister for Finance and senior officials met with uh, providers, particularly in the non-bank sector, uh, to discuss mortgage interest raise, rates. And he raised concerns about the impact of those rates rises on borrowers and the potential this may have uh, in terms of increasing mortgage arrears. Um, and uh, the Minister had emphasised that it is a priority of government to reduce mortgage arrears. Um, and again, um, has raised with the central bank as well. He wrote to the central bank the, in terms of the review of the consumer protection code in that context uh, to underline the importance of customers with performing mortgages being supported and facilitated to switch to avail of lower mortgage interest you, um, rates. And we will continue to keep this matter uh, under review. McGrath. Um, yeah. in, in, it's clear, Tisha, you're trying to distance yourself from the, uh, and the government from the ECB and its policies because it suits you. However, it must be noted that last year your government rolled out the red carpet for the ECB President Christine Lagarde during her visit to government buildings. This represented a prime opportunity to advise your government on behalf of the people and, and Pascal Dunno the, the chance to question this policy. The government has not raised the, uh, this issue publicly or in any other forum, which is a failure to protect the interests of all borrowers, and especially uh, the domestic side of our economy. Small businesses, your know, farmers, fishermen, uh, tourism and the hospitality sector, the whole lot is affected by this. So it's a major, major issue. How can any Irish government stand idle, uh, idly by and allow the unelected cabal of the ECB uh, uh, to cause so much uh, pain and suffering in this country? We had it already in, back in 2008 with the forced so-called uh, bailout, the clean-out and the pressure, and the blackguarding that the European uh, banks and European uh, funds did here to this country, and you uh, supported it. So, no, it's, it's, uh, you have to act, because you can... Now it's all these little frills, and, and they are helps, I won't deny that. But the elephant in the room is the interest rates and the failure of uh, the hikes to, to, to bring down inflation. It's not happening. I think, Deputy, your, your, your proposals would create chaos oh. if, every government in Europe to, if every government in Europe was to take on the ECB and disagree with the ECB. We need monetary policies there to be set by the ECB, um, and, and that's the way it should be. And we do need to get inflation down. Uh, and this country, you know, we're below 4% in unemployment terms. We have the lowest youth unemployment in, 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 in Europe. Um, we've dramatically increased employment in the last um, three years. Um, so there, there has to be a balanced and measured approach to managing the economy and a stable approach. You look at some countries across that have inflation rates, not in the European Union, but outside of the European Union, up to 50 or 60 percent. Um, and when you get to that disastrous level, you, you are in real trouble as a country. Uh, so getting inflation down matters, and it matters to citizens. So there's a balance to be struck here. Um, in terms of measures that will curb, and it is working, albeit more slowly than would have been anticipated because of the war in Ukraine, has been a huge problem with inflation, as has um, the response to COVID and the coming Thank out you. of COVID. Um, so we have to get inflation down, Deputy, because that, that will kill the citizen more than anything Thank else, very much. speaking. Yeah.